Hi everyone, this is CVGS, this is Leon and today I bring you the latest SD for Battle Spirit that has been uh, introduced which is the SD49 Aizno Deki his deck. Basically this deck is being introduced for the Battle Spirit Saga Break featuring Bashin Dan as well as Barone returning back into the anime scene after such a long time. So okay, what we have here today with us is the, um, literally his deck <laughs> I don't know Deki as the name uh, indicates So uh, what this deck is about is basically it's a Galaxian deck that is being introduced into this set Together with a, a bunch of very unique things uh, such as the uh, exclusive Grand Walker and stuff like that More information stated on the back even letting you know of this late, one, of, one of the latest extras As well as two additional promo cards So right here with us, uh, this is actually a full, uh, full on deck And this is also one of the under their uh, 1000 yen series decks which is very affordable for newbies that want to get into the game so you will want to get this set as well because it also comes with two LX especially uh, which is a really highly sorted out card and everyone is really really not a hot for this set itself because after all it's Bashin Nan's deck right just now uh, let's get into looking at the contents inside so there we have the usual paper play mat okay apparently uh, for this set has it comes with a set of cards as well Total of 30 calls as well as the so call. This is perfect. So, good place to start. You, the last time when they had such a small box and they didn't include the so call was for SD39. So, they, I guess they decided to put in calls for every every other SD now. Which is a very, very good thing. So, beginners can immediately start playing and don't have to worry about calls. Okay, underneath it are the promo cards. So, as mentioned, they, uh, they came with three promo cards that. Uh, for this entire pack itself, which includes the victory draw, rising draw, as well as the Mogosaurus X. Okay, however, do note that the promo cards they decided to include two special uh, cards that you cannot play because the cards can only be used by the Barrel of Light, as well as the if your name is Bashin Dan, literally. So, yeah. But let's look at the main content itself. So this is the deck itself of a full blown uh, 40 card deck. So let's deck, uh, break down this deck and see what's inside, shall we? Okay, now with the deck broken down already, uh, we are we'll be just looking into the X rest as well as uh, some notable uh, master rest in this set as well. As for the rest of the deck data, do look up uh, World of Cards. All the translations are there for the rest of the deck if you are interested. As to why I also included Emre in this, from our, unlike our usual video, is because uh, because this set is after it's a new deck set, it includes the Saga Brave. So I want to talk about this for beginners as well as the Alex himself which is reprinted for this set So I feel that it might be important to point out as well Okay, so let's begin with the first card The Crimson Moon Dragon Strike Boom Sajita Okay, so it's an Avatar Galaxian Astro Deity It's effect level 1, 2 and 3 during both players attack step When you or your opponent's life is reduced, draw 1 card from your deck Release 1, level 1, 2 and 3 when this spirit attacks this spirit is unaffected by oppo any opposing spirit nexus effect. In addition, by sending one call from your Grand Walker nexus to this spirit, destroy one opposing spirit or ultimate of DP Trophy or less. Lastly, level two and three. When this spirit attacks, when this spirit is uh, when this spirit destroys an opposing spirit or ultimate, send one call from your opponent's life to your opponent's reserve. So. Um, his basic function allows you to draw on either player's attack step so long your opponent loses a life. So let's say you use an effect, he takes a life, you draw a card during his own attack step. Or when you just simply attack him normally, like just a simple attack, no flash, no flash, he hits, you draw a card as well. And his level and his other level 1, 2, and 3, when he attacks, he is unaffected by Wozing Spirit and Nexus. That includes Grand Walker Nexus as is an effect. So um in addition, if you do its release by sending one call to a Grand Walker Nexus, uh, from a Grand Walker Nexus to this spirit, you get even get to destroy one trap or less, which will help you move into its level two and three, where this spirit destroys the opposing spirit ultimate. Send one call from your opponent's life to the reserve, and loop back to the first effect, which allows you to draw, which is actually a, pre a pretty decent card if you know how to use it uh, and use it in the right deck. Okay, moving on to the next card, which is the White X Rare, the Mobile Scorpio uh, Soul Room Boom. Okay, also an avatar, galaxy and arm machine. 
Okay, his this card's uh, reduction symbol right above the god symbols here are also treated as red, purple, green, yellow, blue. So all colors. When you have five core or more than one on your Grand Walker Nexus, this card is unaffected by any opposing effect. Next, his burst ability after an opponent's uh, spirit or ultimate attacks, send uh you can activate this burst. Send all cores from one opposing Grand Walker Nexus to the void. After the effect is resolved, you can summon the spirit without paying the cost. Next is level 2 and 3. When this spirit attacks or block once per turn, this spirit gains 5k uh, BP and it refreshes. So it's a very de good defensive card against Grand Walker these days. So you may want to take note of this card. Because uh, let's say your opponent has too many overwhelming uh, bursts on the table. Uh, what well, burst? Uh, Grand Walker. So you, want to, you may want to target the one that has the most core or at least the one that you feel that you are threatened by its grand skill you can immediate, immediately remove all the cores from it the moment your opponent declares an attack so making this one of a very valuable express that I feel for this set moving on to the next card which is the Astro God, the God of Light a Zodiac uh, Remora okay so it's a ready to send card Flash, ready to send on a galaxy and cost 5 or higher okay so his level 1, 2 and 3 when the spirit descends attacks. You may pay one cost to summon one spirit card from the family galaxy from in your hand. If you've done so, during your own attack step, set one call from your opponent's life to your opponent's reserve. His level 2 and 3 when this spirit attacks, destroy one opposing spirit ultimate of 10k BP or lower. If destroyed by this effect, this spirit refreshes. Okay? So, um, so this card actually allows you to reinforce your field if you have a large hand and you can summon all the other Galaxian spirit to help support the card. Since Galaxian is all about uh, using the other spirits to give each other effects like unaffected by burst, unaffected by nexus, unaffected by uh, things, even armor sometimes. So making this card a very uh, efficient card to start. It doesn't even state what cost it is so it can be even a very uh, big size uh, Spirit, let's say, for example, we take Libra per se, or maybe even such a Worm Nova if you have it, you can add it to this deck and you can even summon it. Although not advisable though, because such a Worm Nova requires it to be in dissension state in order for you to use that ability. But however, it's just something noteworthy. And of course, having the ability to destroy a Spirit Ultimate of 10k BP or lower when it attacks uh, allows it to be refreshed, also makes it very helpful. And because his normal, his first ability when he attacks also allows you to summon, making it uh, allow, uh, allowing you to summon a bunch of spirit in one turn, which may potentially turn the tide of the battle. Hmm, a very interesting card. Next, moving on is the new Grand Walker Nexus uh, that is introduced for this uh, box itself, and also a returning face, the Galaxy Grand Walker Apollo. Originally, the initial version was a uh, Apollo uh, Grand Walker Apollo from the for the red set for Astro Dragon. So now it's here as a Grand Walker for the Galaxian. So his family is both a Grand Walker and Galaxian. Okay, he charges on Visitant, Avatar, Galaxian, and three costs or higher. Then no less, he's also Rainbow, uh, all six colored uh, Grand Walker Nexus. And his reduction symbol is treated as red, green, purple, white, yellow, blue. So basically any color could, could help to reduce its core. His cost, his level, his grand skill level one and two. Flash. Both players attack that by sending three cards from the nexus to the void by destroying one opposing spirit ultimate of eight kbp or less. Draw one card from your deck, which is uh pretty cool. Okay, grand field during your attack step. When your spirit from the family visitant avatar galaxy of original cost six or higher is blocked, that spirit refreshes. So. Um, okay, his grand skill is basically similar to the Apollon uh, Grand Walker, which allows uh, which that one destroys 6k and below, while this one destroys 8k and below. 8k is a pretty decent range for early game, and even allows you to draw, which making the utility of this card uh pretty decent. And of course, being a god symbol also help to reduce uh any symbol for this deck. Since the the Galaxian is mostly got is mostly got simple, or they reduce uh, straight up by any color, making it uh, a very good uh, re resource of cost reduction. Next, for its level two, for its uh, grand skill, its grand field, sorry, during your attack step, where uh, so long your vision avatar Galaxian is of original cost six and higher is blocked, it refreshes. So it kind of like hints to either one of these two. 
in, in a case that they get blocked, they get to refresh and do what they need to do, especially him in particular, since he doesn't have any refreshing ability. So uh, as to the no two notable uh, embers of the set, we'll go into firstly the Saga Brave itself. This is uh, one of the things that some of you may be looking forward to, which is the Lens of the Twelve Star Zodiac Lancer. Okay, the Saga Divine uh, Armament and Galaxian. Okay, so same thing, its reduction is traded as all colors. So the Brave condition is Galaxian, 5 cores or higher. When Brave is Spirit, when this Spirit attacks, if it's blocked, other than a, uh, by a targeting effect, both players cannot have flash timing. In addition, if only the opposing spirit or ultimate is destroyed by BP comparison, send one call for opponent's life to the reserve. Okay, this brave condition, second, the saga brave condition, uh, Galaxy and Grand Walker Nexus. When brave to a Nexus, Grand Field, and during the end of uh, during your end step, you may refresh all your spirit from the family Galaxy. Whoa, so his first ability, let me just elaborate a little bit. Okay, because when you attack, let's say you do a, let's say it's uh, if it's blocked, when you're just attacking, your opponent declares a blocker, alright, and it blocks. The moment it does that, there will be no flash timing. Under normal circumstances, usually you know what, it declare a block, go into a flash timing, correct? So for this case, it, it stops that flash timing. So uh, not allowing your opponent to do a counter, the, the moment they declare a blocker against the card that's brave to this, okay? And, in addition, if only that opposing spirit or ultimate is destroyed by BP comparison this way, send one call from opponent's life to the reserve. So, you not only you get to stop a flash timing or protect, uh, of a potential counter, you also get to reduce your opponent's life. And let's say if you have Sig Worm on the field, you also even get to draw a card in addition to that, which is making it a very good combo. As for its uh, brave condition to a Grand Walker Nexus, allows you to refresh all your Grand Walker, uh, your Galaxian spirit, I mean, on the field, which also helps with utility in, in case you can if you are going for an all attack, the opponent does a counter and at least you have all your spirit refreshed. Which is a very, very nice touch to it. Lastly we have this is the chosen explorer Alex. Okay. So his family is commando. This card is unaffected by any effects when it's set or in your trash. First, when your life is reduced, summon this card without paying the cost. After that, draw a card from your deck or add one core from the void to your reserve. At the end of the battle, uh, and the attack step. Okay, level 1 and 2. This spirit uh, symbol is treated as red, purple, green, yellow, and blue. It's because he himself is a white symbol, so it basically gives reduction for the remaining colors. So, Alex is also very popular among players because not only is it a staple, it helps to prevent further damage against some cards that require multi attacks, or perhaps even those hit you at high, uh, high symbol. But unable to finish you off immediately with the next card because you will just end the attack step, which makes uh, Alex a very good addition on the card to be added to your deck. And this deck provides two of that card, which is very, very amazing. Okay, so with that said, this is all the card that is introduced in this SD49. Okay, and uh, if you like what you see here today, please remember to subscribe to us uh, by and also get notification by clicking uh, ringing the bell below. And if you wish to speak to us, and you can join on all our socials, be it on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, we'll be there on most nights. Okay, uh, just come on up and we'll feel free to talk. And with that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!